All right, everyone, thanks for joining for this quick uh, all chapter update. I don't even have an agenda today. I'm just going to keep this very brief. Wanted to just highlight a couple updates from uh, on the national level and then just see if you have any questions about the recent chapter strategy that we just went over um, and uh, if you have any updates on sort of where things stand on uh, what you're doing going forward. Um, a couple quick updates um, from leader from a leadership standpoint. We have just opened up a number of new national manager positions, um, including a national manager of events, a uh, national manager of PR, um, a national manager of technology. We've also sadly recently lost two of our national managers. Uh, Carolyn Gorski, our national manager of operations was forced to step down. Her job has really evolved um, since she joined Millennials in Travel to uh, to include a lot more responsibilities. She's doing the job of like four people at American Airlines right now. So um, it was just too much for her to juggle. And then also um, Jessica Candler uh, unfortunately had to step down as well. She was our national manager of digital content and was managing our website, our blog and our newsletter. Um, what we've done with our communications team is we have added uh, a third position. So under Caitlin's direction, we now have our national manager of social media, which Michelle is in that role, still filling that role, which is and doing a great job. Uh, and then we also will have a national manager of uh, technology and a national manager of digital content. And the national manager of technology will be responsible for website updates and updating our blog. And then the national manager of digital content will be responsible for newsletters um, and any other communications that we send out. So if you have anyone in mind that would like to get involved in Millennials and Travel, it doesn't matter where they're located, anywhere in the world, um, and would like to just get involved and engage uh, and be a part of the organization, let me know, direct them to our website under um, the About Us section and the column, you'll see uh, national managers and you'll see all the positions listed. Um, so really looking forward to hopefully bringing on some new people. We also uh, are looking for three officers to help relaunch our Miami chapter. Happy that Hannah is moving from the Miami team to the New York team is an exciting update for everyone. Um, but that leaves uh, our Miami team with, with just one person at the moment. So if you know anyone else in Miami, please let me know. And then we're also looking for a national manager of membership for the San Diego team. Um, but fortunately for the first time, that's it. Our Chicago team, our LA team and our New York team are fully loaded. Very excited there. Uh, and then that brings me to the next update on chapter development. Um, I'm excited to share, it hasn't been officially announced yet, but uh, we will be launching our first international chapter with a Vancouver, BC, Canada chapter launching hopefully in the next month or so. Woohoo! Um, I know. Congratulations. Thank you. So excited. It's been a long time coming. And That's now that- awesome. Yeah, thank you. We're so happy. Um, we've got two incredible leaders there. If anyone knows Kemi Wells with Wells Luxury Travel, um, and then uh, another gentleman there named McKinsey. So super excited for that. Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, so that'll be launching probably in the next month or so. Um, hopefully we'll get them on board. And now that, you know, I've kind of got each of our active chapters with a strategy in place, kind of putting it on you to, to take everything and run with it and move forward. I really want to shift my focus to both hiring and HR and filling some of these open positions, but also to new chapter development. So you'll probably see me step back a bit from helping to manage and 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 nourish and encourage you all. And I'm hoping that you guys can take it, take your chapters and run with it so that we can focus on the national level on new chapters. So um, no pressure there, but please <laughs> go with it, run your chapters. You guys have the power and the skill set and the ability to do that um, so that we can focus on growing and adding new chapters. Um, another update I want to provide is on FAMS. Uh, as you know, we've been doing FAMS on a, on a monthly basis. They've been going really well. Um, and we're getting continued you know, opportunities from supplier partners that want to do FAMS with us. So we'll continue doing those on a monthly, maybe twice a month basis. Um, but we are looking for a host for the September FAM. So if anybody is interested in that, um, please let me know. It's going to be a San Francisco and Napa uh, combination. So looking for somebody to host that one. And then of course there'll be future opportunities as well. So we'll need a host for every fam. Uh, I have asked that uh, all of the fans that are kind of, we have where we have the dates and the desk and the location 
finalized to be put on our website. So again, always check the Millennials in Travel website for info. It's got up-to-date information. And if you go to the calendar, um, you'll find and look ahead, you'll find fans listed there. Um, it won't have much details because we want to focus on promoting, you know, each fam as it as it's coming up and kind of not steal the spotlight for the August fam by by promoting all the details for the September fam, but it will at least just say like the dates and the destination. So look at the calendar and look ahead. And if there's any fans that you're interested in hosting, let um, Anina know. Anina is our national manager of fams. Um, on that note, just a reminder, when you log into the leadership landing page on our website, you can see uh, a leadership contact form that will give you everyone's name and email address. So you can contact them directly, whether it's about fams, benefits, whatever it may be. Um, and then on that note, I just wanted a reminder too of our exclusive benefits program is in the works and it's in development. If you have any ideas for benefits that we could offer our membership, please reach out to Kim Barber. Um, benefits could be anything from, you know, a discounted fee for affiliation to an organization, um, professional organization, or an actual item, a discount on, you know, luggage, something that's relevant to our industry, um, a savings opportunity for something that helps people better manage their business, printing needs, shipping needs, things like that. So if any benefits come to mind, please let us know. And then the last thing is just a uh, you know, reminder of that chapter strategy that I rolled out to everyone uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've emailed it to you, so you should have that. That's your framework and your blueprint for moving forward. Um, it also gives you a checklist for events, uh, planning and, and implementing and uh, kind of rolling out each of the events. Um, and remember to utilize that leadership landing page um, to access any documents you need. The new event submission form should be live on there this week. Um, and then last but not least, if anyone has any additional feedback about our membership model, now is the time to speak up and share your ideas and your thoughts, having a director's meeting in two hours to kind of make final decisions on our membership model moving forward. So with that, that is all the updates I have. If you have any questions, let me know.